Pavelio. Revelio. All of my siblings are finished at Hogwarts. Nice to be here on my own for once. Never a dull moment when I go home. I just know it. Revelio. Pavelio. She said I could swim, did you, Praxia Mole? As long as we're only one time per week, I can plunge the boy's lavatory. Not for the meek. Please, Peas, you'll make me late. He tried to stop me, did rancorous carp, so he <laughs> can me confine me inside of a jar. But he failed us, did his containment charms, so I took my revenge to wreak havoc and harm. <laughs> it was granted my privileges be handsome indeed, or I'd fire up the cannon, and so she agreed. To draw up a contract with her, not with him, that if I behaved, I'd have one weekly swim. We. I'll get you for this, Revelio.
Revelio. Glad you could make it. Lucan's just over there. Rebellion. Revelio. Can I help you? Can I help you? Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinate duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. I'm flattered to hear that. Sebastian's not a bad duelist either. Imagine it's quite something to see the two of you duel. How does Cross Ones work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in Crossed Ones, you can duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! We'll make you regret signing up.
Nice work. Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. Now, it takes time to organize these duels, but check with me later. I may have something lined up for you. Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. Hope to see you back here again. Rebellion. Lumos. Lumos. Wait till I've grown a bit, then we'll see how well you do. I feel sorry for your next opponent. Revelio. Come now, Annabelle. It was a long time ago. Leave me be. It was an accident. Rebellion.
What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details. Mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a Strela. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Can you tell me more about the potion shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asks that they have a couple of particular recipes on. I've never heard of a spellcraft before. A spellcraft is a recipe of sort. I shall explain more about them. There's an Ollivander's in Hogwarts. There is. Most people are familiar. Mr. Ollivander, I would trust no one else. I'm eager to get to Hogwarts. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with perhaps Sebastian Sallow or... Na I'd like to go with Sebastian. Glad to hear it. He'll keep you well clear. Rookwood? Or rather, once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend. No time to waste. The soup. Revelio. Revelio.
Revelio. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that, the mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm, it seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then... Re Why must I first complete tasks? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience. Such experience is... I'll start on the top. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Revelio. A flying page must be around here somewhere. Rebellion. If only a new student would help me with my sad predicament. Are you alright? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Noak. The girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. I'm sorry the other students weren't more friendly. That's kind of you. I suppose there are a few decent souls here. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. Gobstones? Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Ever written a story or a terrible... And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones. <sighs> Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get... I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need... Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from... If I knew that, I'd get them... Whoever hid my gobstones that... Haven't you any friends? Not really. Natty said hello once. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones... I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone, but... Brilliant! Revelio. Keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. I trust the preliminary task. I complete. Marvelous. You clearly know. Let us give the old men. Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic.
That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Okay. Perhaps a jilted lover. Rebellion. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Places around the school for some of these cobblestones.
Velio. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. What are you up to now?
to keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's cobblestones. Rebellio. How nice to see you, my young friend. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's cobblestones. On another adventure. That's the last of Zenobia's gobstones. I should go and see her. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Rebellion. had more luck than I did tracking down my gob- Hello, Zenobia. I've found all of your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. 
However did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well, <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? Of course. They are yours after all. Oh, how wonderful. I shall dedicate all my future victories to you. Speaking of which, now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. I'm sure they'd be willing to play after the trouble spent getting them back. It's a fine idea. Isn't it? Oh, we'll have so much fun together laughing as all the losers get sprayed, which won't include me. Very well, off I go. Wish me luck. Revelio. Rebellion. Revelio. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Well, fancy meeting you here. 
Hello, Sebastian. Ah, my new charge. I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them. Is this your first foray into the village? It is. I haven't left the castle since I arrived. Well, I shall endeavor to be the very best of guides, then. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. Self-contained, too. We should be able to find you everything that you... I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to join you today. As am I. Thank you, by the way. Of course. You're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it, I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. Speaking of Weasley, she seems to have taken quite a shine to you. Has she? That's nice to hear. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything, given my detention record. Spend a lot of time in detention, do you? Just enough to keep me well-rounded. Speaking of detention, a trip to Hogsmeade might have saved me from one. Glad I could be of service. Madam Scribner, the librarian, was on the hunt for me, as is often the case. Professor Weasley came to retrieve me, and I was able to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. So how did you manage to get on the Librarian's bad side? Well, I suspect it's a matter of differing opinions. She thinks I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section, and I, on the other hand, am inclined to disagree. Revelio. Oh, just one moment. This is an excellent spot to gather lacewing flies. They're pretty to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. Merlin's beard from the Forbidden Forest. Look! What's going on? See for yourself. Quite a sight, isn't it? You certainly don't see that every day. Revelio. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Like we already made it. To the left is the Forbidden Forest. Out of bounds to all students. Hence the name. Precisely. They think it's too dangerous. I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. Ah, you can see Hogsmeade just past those ruins up ahead. Have you had much of a chance to explore the castle? A little. It's positively enormous. It is that. I've been there five years and barely scratched the surface. Loads to see, places to discover. Oh, any you'd like to share with the class? Perhaps one day. I can't go around telling you all my secrets now, can I? You still haven't told me how Let you can do it, Julie.
Revelia. Pavelia. I've always thought Thestral's pulling a carriage a bit grim. Though I suppose most people don't actually see them at all. But you can see them. Unfortunately. But you've seen quite a bit yourself first-hand too. Yeah. Most notably that dragon. Is Hopefully the rest of your year isn't as eventful. Revelia. Mr. Moon. He's the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Huh? Pleasure. Uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Revelia. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did, Mr. Moon? Demi guys. Ugly and airy and terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. A Demi guys. I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice, but he's obviously had too much of it. I've never seen Mr. Moon in such a state. <laughs> Mr. Moon is quite the character. My sister Anne thinks he's lovely, but I'd say he could improve a bit as a caretaker. <laughs> Oh, is your sister in Slytherin too? She is, or rather, she was. She's not well at the moment, but she'll be better soon and back at Hogwarts. Pavelio. Honestly, if one could bottle the magic of this place, I don't know if it's the shops or the people, but there's just something about Hogsmeade. We all flock to it like moths to a flame. So how would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get, a wand and some other bits. Yes, Dittany seeds, some spellcraft. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with a new wand. And a short list gives you plenty of time to poke around the village. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my... Remember, have fun. It's Hogsmeade. 